Here we have a uh, target practice penny drop machine manufactured uh, likely in the 1920s judging from the overall design uh, the castings this is a very uh, basic but uh, very, you know and highly functional uh, type of uh, design basically what you have is a um, the cast aluminum cabinet this is all original really great patina on this particular machine and uh, the way it works is you uh, drop a penny into that uh, side slot over there and you see there's a bar hanging down you flick that with your finger and you uh, put the uh, launch the penny out into this uh, play field that has all the uh, nails what you're actually trying to do is ideally get it over to this left hand side where it would line up into either the number one the red is for one the uh, white is for two and the blue is for five uh, and that would get you uh, a, an award, a prize, and uh, we see that here in the uh, target practice uh, paper, that's uh, the original paper that's on there, and basically what it, uh, it shows is that when you get it into those sections, that's what the, uh, the award is. There is a second chance if you are unable to uh, launch the penny across the play field and get it in there, it then travels down the nail peg board and it would fill into uh, any one of the slots below. If it goes into a C, you don't get anything. If you would uh, hit it into one of the colored pegs on the uh, sides, you would win. And there's actually a uh, mechanism inside a bar at the bottom that holds the penny in those slots on the uh, the three on the left and the three on the right. And then you would show the uh, the uh, shop owner that you had won and you would get your payout and then there's a little knob at the top of the machine right up there that you twist and then that uh, turns the bar and drops the penny out and resets it for the next player. You see that there are some screw holes actually cast into the bottom casting. There's two on the left and two on the right. That's for the machine to be able to be screwed down onto a cabinet or a base counter. Um, this has a very large cash box behind that locked door and um, there's a good reason. These machines really gobbled up pennies. Uh, we'll go ahead and play it in a moment. Um, another interesting note about this one is this uh, was part probably of a uh, large series of machines that were out en route by an operator. There's a uh, serial number or a tracking number stamped into the machine right here and uh, that is number 267. We also see a uh, brass, a little brass tag underneath the key and uh, that also is stamped with the 267. So these machines would be numbered and put out on location and then the operators would uh, track them as uh, they went through their uh, their normal course of operation. So let's go ahead and play it. Again, the operation is very simple, but uh, you better have a handful of pennies that, uh, to be able to, uh, to really enjoy it. Drop a penny in the slot, flick it across. Oh, look at that. First shot, we got it right into the A, so uh, or into the red. So we uh, won a nickel on that one. That's great. Let's, uh, again, the operator or the shop owner would then be alerted. You'd get paid your nickel, and then the shop owner would basically turn that, uh, that little knob and free the, the coin out. Let's see if we can keep our, our luck going here. And uh, Oh, look at that. Second flick, we got a white, so that's worth a dime, and that's on the uh, left-hand side. Again, we turn and uh, free it up. I should go buy a lottery ticket, maybe. All right, we lost on that one. We lost on that one. Trying again to... Oh, there's a red one. So we're trying to get it across here, but it's equally as good to get it down there. So our luck is definitely pretty uh, pretty good today. There we go. We free that penny, and we're good to continue playing. Just a few more here. Ah, almost. Now we have the typical pattern of the uh, pennies falling into the center there, which is what often happens. Try and get a few over to the side here, but uh, not very successful on that. Oh, we got one more on the red. Again, good for a nickel. We'll go ahead and clear it and uh, pause for now. So again, this is the uh, early 1920s target practice penny drop trade stimulator 